You know what I like most about game day, man? It's a day where everyone comes together. It's a day where no matter what your age or where you come from, we're family. Game day is a reflection of who we are. It's the culture that we are continuing to build for generations to come. You can't take these moments for granted, man. It all goes by so fast. Every day when you get up, you put on that purple and gold, wear it with pride. We're all in this thing together. As fans, as a community, and as a family. We're Huskies, and together, we can change the world. There's nothing more important than us coming together as a family and truly supporting each other. But I want to challenge each and every one of you guys. Do something to help this culture. A sparkling day. It could not be a finer Saturday for college football. The Huskies are coming off a bye. And now they're starting the second half of the season, which they hope, of course, means Pac-12 North, then Pac-12, and then, yes, CFP. This is going to Ross. And Ross has it. Ball, ball up and got touchdown Washington, Aaron Fuller. Pettis breaks a tackle at the 10 and skips into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Oh, what a spin. Oh, a play by Gaskin. Touchdown, go, everybody. Ball is intercepted by Garden. Garden higher in the pick. And then at the goal line. Touchdown, Washington. Washington's seventh straight win this season as the Huskies will go into Salt Lake City 7-0. For me, I, I love the tagline. I think it means so much. Um, for me, yes, it's meant success on the football field, um, but Purple Rain really is a speaks to the culture, the pride that all of us have in this place, this university. Purple Rain to me means the impact that Husky athletics, and in particular Husky football, has had on community. And then in turn, the impact that our community has had, our fans, our supporters, our alums have had back into Husky athletics and in Husky football. So Purple Rain to me is about a dominance, and it's a dominance that happens when we're all in, we're all in together. Being a former player here and uh, putting in the work that, that uh, everyone puts in as they come to UW, being a part of the start of this new culture um, at the university, and seeing where it's come today makes me really you know, envy these guys, and uh, you know, this is something that everyone wants to be a part of. I think it just speaks a lot to the culture that's been developed over time through a lot of hard work by a lot of people and kind of bringing people together to, to think bigger and think more at what success looks like in a lot of different ways. There's so much strength in numbers and there's so much strength in collaboration. There's so much strength in unity. I really believe that magic happens you know, excellence happens, those moments that you will never forget happen when we're all unified. And, and that's what's happening, you know, it really is a movement. It's a movement to remind everybody about how great this place is and that we can achieve anything when we're working together. You don't have to be a senior. You don't have to be a leader. You just need to be a good guy that wants to do this right, a real man, it wants to win, it wants to be part of something that's special. It starts with each guy making that choice. 
And that's what we need to do. Huskies lead the nation, winning by an average of nearly 34 points per game. They both are carrying the Pac-12 playoff hope. But I don't think the nation fully respects Washington the way I think they should. I always liked the underdog. But not this week. You gotta get the dub. Balls it out. There's nobody up on the Let's go. All we need is your best. Your best will be good enough. We knew what type of fight we was ready for. We ready for this. We ready for this. And they are fired up here in Utah. They think that this can be a season-defining game, and the Utes have taken the field. Close to 50,000 ready to watch. Two top 20 teams, the Utah Utes against the Washington Huskies. Stepping down the side to the left side, it's a five and into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. And a first down, Darrell Daniels. He crossed the catch at the five and backpedals his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Smithy breaks away at the 30, hits the sideline. In the end zone, caught. Touchdown, John Ross. John Ross on the deflection, touchdown Washington. It's extra special in this field because we know the young men on the field. We work so closely with the coaches, so um, your heart's really in it. I think it's just been the joy uh, to see these guys who have worked so hard and to see that they're in it for each other. I mean, you can just see it. Yes. We'll get a shot from the 42. Still running, breaks a tackle, midfield, Pettis hits the sideline, stays in bounds, Pettis, touchdown Huskies, back-breaking play, Williams lost it. Force fumble, the area with a hit, the end zone up for grabs and incomplete over everybody, and Utah has turned the ball over on down, it is over, 31-24. The Huskies keep it moving, undefeated. for Washington. This is a great Washington team. They come on the road, win in a very tough environment. That's the mark of a championship team.